The non-canonical books referenced in the Bible include pseudepigrapha, writings from Hellenistic and other non-biblical cultures, and lost works of known or unknown status. By the Bible is meant those books recognized by most Christians and Jews as being part of Old Testament or Tanakh as well as those recognized by Christians alone as being part of the Biblical Apocrypha or of the Deuterocanon. It may also include books of the Anagignoskomena Deuterocanonical Books section Eastern Orthodoxy that are accepted only by Eastern Orthodox Christians. For the purposes of this article, referenced can mean direct quotations, paraphrases, or allusions, which in some cases are known only because they have been identified as such by ancient writers, or the citation of a work or author. Topic Hebrew Bible The following are mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. The book of Jasher is mentioned in Joshua chapter 10 verse 13 and 2 Samuel chapter 1 verse 18 and also referenced in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 8. From the context in the book of Samuel, it is implied that it was a collection of poetry. Several books have claimed to be this lost text, some of which are discounted as pseudepigrapha. Certain members of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints secured the copyright to a particular English translation of one of these and republished it in 1887 in Salt Lake City. The Book of the Wars of the Lord. Referenced at Numbers chapter 21 verse 14 with possible association with War of the Sons of Light against the Sons of Darkness. The Book of the Wars of the Lord is also cited in the medieval Book of Jasher trans. Moses Samuel c. 1840, ed. J. H. Perry 1887 chapter 90-48 as being a collaborative record written by Moses, Joshua and the children of Israel. The Chronicles of the Kings of Israel and Chronicles of the Kings of Judah are mentioned in the Books of Kings 1 Kings chapter 14 verses 19, 29. They are said to tell of events during the reigns of Kings Jeroboam of Israel and Rehoboam of Judah, respectively. The Chronicles of the Kings of Israel is again mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 20 regarding King Zimri, and many other times throughout 1 and 2 Kings. The Book of Shemaiah, and of Iddo the Seer also called Story of the Prophet Iddo or the Annals of the Prophet Iddo is mentioned in the Second Book of Chronicles, 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verses 29, 2 Chronicles 12 15, 2 Chronicles chapter 13 verse 22. Iddo was a seer who lived during the reigns of Solomon, Rehoboam, and Abijah. His deeds were recorded in this book, which has been completely lost to history, save for its title. The prophet Zechariah was the son of Iddo, but this was likely not the same Iddo. Ezra chapter 5 verse 1, Zechariah chapter 1 verse 1, the manner of the kingdom. Referenced at 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 25. The Acts of Solomon. Referenced at 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 41. The Annals of King David. Referenced at 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 24. The Book of Samuel the Seer. Also called Samuel the Seer or the Acts of Samuel the Seer, which could be the same as 1 and 2 Samuel. Referenced at 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 29. The Book of Nathan the Prophet. Also called Nathan the Prophet or the Acts of Nathan the Prophet or History of Nathan the Prophet. Referenced at 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 29, and also 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 29. The Book of Gad the Seer. Referenced at 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 29. The prophecy of Ahijah, might be a reference to 1 Kings chapter 14 verses 2 to 18. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 29. The Book of the Kings of Judah and Israel. Referenced in 2 Chronicles chapter 16 verses 11, 2 Chronicles 27 to 7 and 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 32. Might be the same as 1 and 2 Kings. The book of Jehu, could be a reference to 1 Kings chapter 16 verses 1 to 7. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 34. The story of the book of Kings. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 24 verse 27. The Acts of Uzziah. Also called the book by the prophet Isaiah. Perhaps the same as the book of Isaiah. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 26 verse 22. The vision of Isaiah. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 32. The acts of the kings of Israel. Also called the acts and prayers of Manasseh. May be identical to the book of the kings of Israel, above. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 33 verse 18. The sayings of the seers. Referenced at 2 Chronicles chapter 33 verse 19. The laments for Josiah. Also called lamentations. 
This event is recorded in the existing Book of Lamentations. Referenced at 2 Chronicles 35 verse 25. The Chronicles of King Ahasuerus. Referenced at Esther chapter 2 verse 23, Esther chapter 6 verse 1, Esther chapter 10 verse 2, and Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 23. Deuterocanon Book or wisdom of Ahakar referenced by Tobit 122, Tobit 210, Tobit 1118, Tobit 14, 10, Aesop's fable of the two pots referenced at Sirach 13-2-3 The Egyptian satire of the trades, or another work in that tradition referenced at Sirach 38-24-39-11. The Archives, referenced by 2 Maccabees 2-1 Memoirs of Nehemiah referenced by 2 Maccabees 2-13, could be the same as the Book of Nehemiah. Letters of the Kings, referenced by 2 Maccabees 2-13. Five books by Jason of Cyrene, referenced by 2 Maccabees 2.23, the author of 2 Maccabees here tells us that the work is abridged from the history by Jason. The King's Letter, referenced by 2 Maccabees 11.22 <laughs> New Testament Some suggest that Nestlé's Greek New Testament lists some 132 New Testament passages that appear to be verbal allusions to paracanonical books, pagan authors quoted or alluded to Menander, Thace 218 1 Cor, 1533 Epimenides, De Oraculis, Titus chapter 1 verses 12-13, where Paul introduces Epimenides as a prophet of the Cretans. See Epimenides' Paradox. Aratus, Phenomena 5, Acts chapter 17 verse 28, where Paul refers to the words of some of your own poets. Non-canonical books quoted or alluded to Book of Enoch Jude chapter 1 verse 4, 1 to 6, 113, 115, 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4, 313, and John chapter 7 verse 38. Book of Jasher, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 8, 2 Samuel 1:18, Joshua chapter 10 verse 13. Epistle to the Laodiceans, Colossians chapter 4 verse 16. Read the epistle from Laodicea. Life of Adam and Eve, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. Satan as an angel of light. 12 to 2. Third heaven. A lost section of the Assumption of Moses, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 8, Jude chapter 9. Michael, body of Moses. Martyrdom of Isaiah, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 37. They were sawn in two. Paul's letter to the Corinthians before 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 9. I wrote to you in my letter. An unknown messianic prophecy possibly from a non-canonical source, quoted in Matthew chapter 2 verse 23 that states, Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 he will be called a Nazorian. Hodi Nazarios Klethesitai. Nazorian. Is typically rendered as. Nazarene. From Nazareth. As in Acts chapter 24 verse 5, where Christians are referred to as. The sect of the Nazorians, Nazarenes. Tun Nazarian Heresios. This is speculated to be a vague allusion to a quote by Samson in Judges chapter 13 verse 5 that uses a similar sounding word. The child shall be a Nazarite. Nazir an unknown version of Genesis possibly a Targum, Midrash or other commentary, quoted by Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45, as a reference to Christ's being. The last Adam who became a life giving spirit. Hudos kai jegroptai e geneto ho protos anthropos adam ice psychon zosin ho achatos adam ice numa zoyopoian. It has been speculated that Paul is simply paraphrasing Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, but there is no clear indication that this is not a complete quote. An unknown text quoted by Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9, suggested by Origen to be a lost apocryphal book. But as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined the things that God has prepared for those who love him. This may also be an allusion to the similar Isaiah chapter 64 verse 4. For from days of old they have not heard or perceived by ear, nor has the eye seen a God besides you, who acts in behalf of the one who waits for him. 
an unknown messianic prophecy, possibly from a non-canonical source, quoted in Luke chapter 24 verse 46, speculated to be a vague allusion to Hosea chapter 6 verse 2. Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day. An unknown messianic prophecy, possibly from a non-canonical source, quoted in Mark chapter 9 verse 12, speculated to be a vague allusion to Isaiah chapter 53, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things, and be set at naught. See also Agrapha Books of the Bible Jewish Apocrypha List of Gospels List of names for the Biblical nameless New Testament Apocrypha Notes <laughs>